Senator Dianne Feinstein, who of course is the chair of the uh, Senate Intelligence Committee, is here at the table this morning. Uh, Senator, let me ask you, uh, do you have any uh, information about these latest reports that he tried to escape while in captivity and that as a result was put in a cage and tortured by the Taliban? With respect to escape, um, no information but rumors. With respect to being tortured, uh, this is the first I've heard of that. Well, uh, would any would anyone at the White House uh, should have briefed you on this uh, latest information? And I say that because uh, our uh, national security correspondent uh, David Martin uh, was checking this uh, at the uh, Pentagon this morning, and they were not confirming it, but they also were not waving him off reporting that story. Uh, I find it interesting that the administration knew you'd be coming out on Face the Nation this morning, uh, that somebody didn't give you a tip that uh, there's some new information here. Well, you'd think so if there were new information. I, I just can't say, but uh, I, I think this whole uh, sort of deal has been one that the, the administration has kept very close, and in the eyes of many of us, too close. Um, because it has a long history, going back to 2011, when it was part of a major reconciliation effort with the Taliban, and we were consulted. And the concern there was that the confidence-building measure was up front, and that measure was the release of these five Taliban detainees. And there was feeling that if you release them up front, there would be no reconciliation. If you release them after progress or at the end and had the agreement to, to do so, that you might get a reconciliation agreement. And that subsequently apparently fell apart. Um, so there are concerns over, and, and I heard John Kerry this morning say, you know, don't worry about them in Doha. Um, uh, you, you can't help but worry about them in Doha. Uh, and we have no uh, information on how the United States is actually going to see that they remain in Doha, that they make no comments, that they do no agitation. And another rumor is one that one Taliban has apparently said that he would return uh, to the battlefield. So. It's, it's a mixed bag at best. Now, let me just say this. Do we, should we see that our uh, GIs who are taken hostage are returned? Absolutely. And one of the things that um, the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Sandy Winnef Winnefeld, made very clear, Bob, was that the Army will look at this very carefully. They will make judgments, they will evaluate it, and uh, if he needs to be uh, tried in a military court, he will be. So I think that's the way it should be. Um, what's unfortunate is that I see no sign of the Taliban relenting. Uh, I have deep concern uh, now that they have tried to kill the almost new elected president of Afghanistan, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, mm -hmm. whom I happen to know. Um, that to me is a sign. Uh, when there, Karzai appointed a peace uh, commission and Baruddin Rabani headed it, he was killed. I've met with his son who has just taken up the cause. And it's extraordinarily difficult. And so some of us worry very much that when we pull out, the Taliban finds its way back into power, and that would be tragic. Well, do you worry, uh, Senator, if I take what you're saying here, uh, that the deal may have put other American lives in danger? Well, I can't certainly say that. Uh, I don't know. But I, I can say that the way it started out in 2011, these five were to be held in house arrest. Uh, in Doha. Now, there is no house arrest. They have um, the country, which is very small, uh, to be about in. Uh, Secretary Kerry made a very strong statement this morning saying, oh, we have ways, and we will see that they do not defect, move, speak, whatever, and we'll see. You're, you're not as comfortable with that, though, apparently, as he is. Well, it's hard to be comfortable 
when you really haven't been briefed on the intricacies of carrying out this agreement. Did it, uh, did it bother you that the administration did not brief you on this? Because they're saying, as late as yesterday, I was told by administration uh, people, uh, look, we never brief uh, Congress on an ongoing operation, and that there had been briefings uh, before all this got away. Well, that isn't necessarily true. Uh, we have been briefed, the chairman and the ranking member, uh, Senator Chambliss and I have been briefed on operations underway. We understand the security of that. We have never violated that. But at least you have some knowledge um, and you can make some comment. Uh, that's never been the case with this particular situation. So it hits us as a real surprise. Were you surprised uh, when this happened that the president chose to have a rose garden ceremony? I mean, I, I tend to agree with you. I think we have to get our people. We have to go after our people. But uh, well, what did you think of that? Well, I assume that he knew all the facts, and perhaps he does. Uh, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, the freeing of uh, a soldier who has been in custody of the Taliban for five years, that's a long time, I think is news. And I think uh, the family uh, is important. Now, how this all went down and how people interpreted it, I can't comment. But I don't think there was anything um, out of, I think the president was just justifiably proud of this. Okay. And he wanted to say it to everybody. All right. Well, Senator, thank you so much for <laughs> thank joining you. us. Always a pleasure.